Hey guys, welcome to part 6 of the Raise the Sea tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be talking about the database. Now the database which comes with the Raise the Sea is pretty small and it's pretty straightforward database and it stores everything from pages to page titles to page content, page description and page keywords. Now if you go to our website and go to show pages and click on a page and just click on edit page. And then if you go down to a description you can see it says well it's got the default description to it. Now we're gonna edit this through the database. Now let's go back to our website files and click on update and then click on razorc.stf and go to RC pages. Now you can see it's got all the pages that we have made. Then it's got the page title, which do not have any. It's got the page text that we've inserted the title, the top title then it's got the page description now we're going to edit the home page description and if I delete this and put some more different content ok now let's go back to our website and go to show all pages and go back to the default page go to our description and it's changed so it was pretty easy to change that through the database and at times you might want to do that like changing the meta keywords you'd I'd actually do it through here then do it through the website because you just have to go back and forth so it's much easier to edit through here and it's also got the master page that the page is using so the default page is using nameless geometry that's a master page for it so that's how the database is organized and it's pretty simple to use now the last thing I want to show you is the login now it's possible to add more users currently we only have admin and the default password now add, to add a new user you just give a username and obviously a password and the maximum number of characters that a password can have is 50 and I would not recommend that password but just for this demonstration now to log in what I need to do is exit this and then restart it now to actually log in you have to go to RC admin and default.cshtml and launch in browser now in the previous tutorial I went to account and login.cshtml and that re redirected us to an error page that's because I actually had to go through RC admin and the default page to log in. Now if I log in using my new login it should work. And I've got to change password. You can see that the user is asking and I could actually change my password. And if I change it it does match. Right, thank you. Change is saved. Now, now let's go back to the database and refresh. You can see that the password is changed. So that's how the database works, and it's pretty easy to get used to the database and to edit pages and stuff. It's actually pretty simple, and at times I would actually prefer it. So that's a small overview of the database, and so rate, comment, and subscribe.